Hi YouTube, um, I made a video quite a few years back about um, giant African millipedes and um, I actually had them in my car and they, they started mating in the car and they're quite hard to breed so um, I thought what I'd do is put that video on this one because it actually got quite it got a couple of thousand hits or something on YouTube um, so I just thought that I would put it back on again because uh, subsequently after the mating they actually laid eggs and the eggs hatched into babies um, so I'll be able to put some uh, images at the end of this video to show you anyway I'll stop now and you can see the original video Hi, so um, I've had like a couple of classes today, I teach like watercolour classes and I thought it would be fun to take in a couple of tubs with some invertebrates in. So I took some giant hissing cockroaches in one tub and I took some uh, giant African millipedes in another tub. Um, and I did the first class fine and got to uh, the place where I was going to do the second class and I found I could only manage, I had to walk, so I could only manage one of the tubs, so I took the giant hissing cockroaches with me and left the African millipedes in my car. Uh, and I must have lifted up the giant hissing cockroach tub and knocked the lid of the giant millipede tub without even realising. And so I did my class, a couple of hour class, and then I came back to the car, noticed the lid was off, and I'll show you the tub now so you can see it. Okay, so this is my um, tub with my giant African millipedes in. Um, and you can see I've got uh, two sections, it's, it's partitioned off. So I originally had four females in this side and two males in this side. And when I got back and I noticed the lid was off, there were these, there were four millipedes in this side. So I assumed that the two males had escaped from the smaller side. Um, so I checked my car for ages, uh, I looked in the boot of the car um, and there was nothing to be seen so then I checked the back of the car like under all the kids seats, uh, under everywhere in the chaos, checked the front of the car, couldn't find them anywhere so then I sat back in my car seat and I went oh my god I've lost my millipedes and then I looked up and check this out Right up here, two millipedes, and not two males, okay, a male and a female that have escaped, and they're actually mating right here in my car. So I've tried to breed them before, and um, I've tried to get them to mate in sort of naturalistic setups, you know, with uh, soil and moss and leaf litter and all the right kinds of things, and no success and then I just leave them they escape in my car and what happens mating straight away uh, it, you should probably note that it's not a very nice day today it's quite cold really and uh, you know the car was quite humid I suppose but but not that warm so maybe you don't need to think about temperature too much um, yeah, it's probably worth thinking about when if you try and breed them yourself. I did see one video on YouTube where there were some millipedes mating in the wild and I assumed that it would be like really wet, like after heavy rains and things, but it was actually just out in the dry um, on very flat land. So that might be a, another thing to think about when you're trying to uh, mate your millipedes. Maybe just um, just give them a lot of open space and leave them to it. One thing to note as well is that my idea of putting two males in this section and four females in this section um, was to kind of separate them just for a little while, for a few days, so that maybe when they re were reintroduced to each other they might kind of uh, want to mate that little bit more. So that side of it has probably worked, I think. So yeah, just thought I'd share this with you. Uh, and I can actually see on these two, it's not very easy to see with this um, with this camera, but I can see the um, the spermatophore being passed, you know, between the uh, male and the female, between their um, 
front pairs of legs. I think it's about the sixth or seventh segment of legs, uh, just in between. So it's very nice to see them together like this. Okay, I'm sorry about my hair in that last video clip, but um, this first video is a close-up showing them in the car, and you can see the um, the white section um, in between their um, front pairs of legs. Um, that's the swollen area where the sperm has passed from the male to the female. Okay, and then this is a close-up of one of the single eggs. Um, they're tiny, probably only about three millimetres across, something like that. Um, but I, I found dozens and dozens of these. Okay, this is another close-up of the egg after the shell has cracked. You can see the white body of the baby millipede inside. Um, this was taken under a stereo microscope. Okay, and this is when the new baby is fully out of its um, egg shell. Um, it hardly has any pairs of legs to start with um, until it molts again. Um, it's not very active, it doesn't move much at all for this sort of period. Okay, several weeks later um, it molts again, um, and this time it has about eight pairs of legs um, and is a little bit longer. Um, I just kept all of these in soil, uh, well, soil mixed with um, some compost, but nothing that would have any chemicals in it, um, and a bit of leaf litter kind of mixed in. Um, and I think that was enough for them to eat. Okay, and then again on the next molt, um, they get even more legs. So I think they've got sort of 22, 24 pairs of legs, something like that now. Um, and they're a little bit bigger again. And the next molt again, and they're starting to look like proper little millipedes. They've got lots of pairs of legs now. Just like mini versions of the adults, but a lot lighter in colour. This photo shows that um, the eggs must have been laid in sort of staggered fashion because you can see quite a few different stages in here. You can see um, babies that have just hatched out of the egg and you can also see the um, longer millipedes that must be a few weeks old at least by this stage. And this last photo just shows um, some babies and also some eggs next to a one pence piece just um, to give you an idea of the scale. It's amazing to think that these tiny little creatures end up being like the longest millipede in the world at uh, around about a foot long. Um, they're such impressive animals so I just wanted to put this video on YouTube um, just in the hope that it might uh, help other people um, breed them successfully um, and just keep the sort of captive populations going. Um, if you like this kind of video um, check out my other videos because I've got lots of um, reptiles and amphibians and small mammals and um, I've got an armadillo as well called Herbie so check those out and also um, hit subscribe and then anything that I post up in the future um, you'll be able to see as soon as I post it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.